when may you cross a double solid white line in the middle of the road. To pass traffic that's queuing back at a junction. To pass a car signaling to turn left ahead. To pass a road maintenance vehicle traveling at 10 miles per hour or less. To pass a vehicle that's towing a trailer. You're parked on the road at night. When must you use parking lights? When there are continuous white lines in the middle of the road. When the speed limit exceeds 30 miles per hour. When you're facing oncoming traffic. When you're near a bus stop. Why should you reduce your speed when you're driving or riding in fog? The brakes don't work as well. You'll be dazzled by other headlights. The engine will take longer to warm up. It's more difficult to see what's ahead. Why is a toucan crossing different from other crossings? Moped riders can use it. It's controlled by a traffic warden. It's controlled by two flashing lights. Cyclists can use it. You're driving in a slow-moving queue of traffic. What should you do just before changing lane? Sound the horn and flash your lights. Look for motorcyclists filtering through the traffic. Give a slowing down arm signal. Change down to first gear. What should you do before making a U-turn? Give an arm signal as well as using your indicators. Check road markings to see that U-turns are permitted. Look over your shoulder for a final check. Select a higher gear than normal. What should you do if your mobile phone rings while you're driving or riding? Stop immediately. Answer it immediately. Leave it until you have stopped in a safe place. Pull up at the nearest curb. How much can stopping distances increase in icy conditions? Two times. Three times. Five times. Ten times. You're driving on a single carriageway road. Why should you keep well back while you're following a large vehicle? To give yourself acceleration space if you decide to overtake. To get the best view of the road ahead. To leave a gap in case the vehicle stops and rolls back. To offer other drivers a safe gap if they want to overtake you. You're driving at night with your headlights on main beam. A vehicle is overtaking you. When should you dip your headlights? Some time after the vehicle has passed you. Before the vehicle starts to pass you. Only if the other driver dips their headlights. As soon as the vehicle passes you. What should you do if your anti-lock brakes, ABS, warning light stays on? Check the brake fluid level. Check the foot brake free play. Check that the parking brake is released. Have the brakes checked immediately. You're driving with your front fog lights switched on. What should you do if the fog has cleared? Leave them on if other drivers have their lights on. 
switch them off as long as visibility remains good. Flash them to warn oncoming traffic that it's foggy. Drive with them on instead of your headlights. What safety device must be fitted to a trailer braking system? Stabilizer. Jockey wheel. Corner steadies. Breakaway cable. You want to turn right from a main road into a side road. What should you do just before turning? Cancel your right turn signal. Select first gear. Check for traffic overtaking on your right. Stop and set the parking brake. You want to turn right from a main road into a side road. What should you do just before turning? Cancel your right turn signal. Select first gear. Check for traffic overtaking on your right. Stop and set the parking brake. number plate at the required distance. When must you wear them? Only in bad weather conditions. Whenever you're driving. When you think it's necessary. Only at night time. It's very windy. What should you do if you're behind a motorcyclist who's overtaking a high-sided vehicle? Overtake the motorcyclist immediately. Keep well back. Stay level with the motorcyclist. Keep close to the motorcyclist. Why should you make sure that your indicators are cancelled after turning at a junction? To avoid flattening the battery. To avoid misleading other road users. To avoid dazzling other road users. To avoid damage to the indicator relay. A horse rider is in the left-hand lane approaching a roundabout. Where should you expect the rider to go? In any direction. To the right. To the left. Straight ahead. You're waiting in a traffic queue at night. How can you avoid dazzling drivers behind you? Use the parking brake and release the foot brake. Keep your foot on the foot brake. Balance the clutch with the accelerator. Use the parking brake and foot brake together. What's the purpose of the yellow lines painted across the road? To show a safe distance between vehicles. To keep the area clear of traffic. To make you aware of your speed. To warn you to change direction. What's the reason for traffic calming measures? To stop road rage. To make overtaking easier. To slow traffic down. To make parking easier. How should you react to inexperienced drivers? Sound your horn to warn them of your presence. Be patient and prepare for them to react more slowly. Flash your headlights to indicate that it's safe for them to proceed. 
overtake them as soon as possible. You're waiting at a level crossing. What must you do if a train passes but the lights keep flashing? Carry on waiting. Phone the signal operator. Edge over the stop line and look for trains. Park and investigate. Where would you find these flashing red light signals? Pelican crossings. Motorway exits. Zebra crossings. Level crossings. Your vehicle broke down on the hard shoulder of a motorway, but has now been repaired. How should you rejoin a main carriageway? Move out onto the carriageway, then build up your speed. Move out onto the carriageway using your hazard warning lights. Gain speed on the hard shoulder before moving out onto the carriageway. Wait on the hard shoulder until someone flashes their headlights at you. What advice should you give to a driver who has had a few alcoholic drinks at a party? Have a strong cup of coffee and then drive home. Drive home carefully and slowly. Go home by public transport. Wait a short while and then drive home. How can you avoid wasting fuel? By having your vehicle serviced regularly. By revving the engine in the lower gears. By keeping an empty roof rack on your vehicle. By driving at higher speeds where possible. How will a heavy load on your roof rack affect your vehicle's handling? It will improve the road holding. It will reduce the stopping distance. It will make the steering lighter. It will reduce stability. On a vehicle, where would you find a catalytic converter? In the fuel tank. In the air filter. On the cooling system. On the exhaust system. What's the legal minimum insurance cover you must have to drive on public roads? Third party, fire and theft. Comprehensive. Third party only. Personal injury cover. What does this sign mean? New speed limit 20 miles per hour. No vehicles over 30 tons. Minimum speed limit 30 miles per hour. End of 20 miles per hour zone. What does this traffic sign mean? Compulsory maximum speed limit. Advisory maximum speed limit. Compulsory minimum speed limit. Advised separation distance. What does this white arrow on the road mean? Entrance on the left. All vehicles turn left. Return to your side of the road. Road bends to the left. What does this curved arrow road marking mean? Heavy vehicles should take the next road on the left to avoid a weight limit. The road ahead bends to the left. Overtaking traffic should move back to the left. The road ahead has a camber to the left. What should you do when you're overtaking at night? Wait until a bend so that you can see oncoming headlights. Sound your horn twice before moving out. Go past slowly so that you can react to unseen hazards. Beware of bends in the road ahead. What should you do if there's a bus at a bus stop ahead of you? 
flash your lights to warn the driver of your presence. Continue at the same speed but sound your horn as a warning. Watch carefully for the sudden appearance of pedestrians. Pass the bus as quickly as you possibly can. How can you make sure that a satellite navigation, SatNav, system doesn't distract you when you're driving? Turn it off while you're driving in built-up areas. Choose a voice that you find calming. Only set the destination when you're lost. Set it before starting your journey. At an incident, someone is suffering from severe burns. How could you help them? Apply lotions to the injury. Burst any blisters. Remove anything sticking to the burns. Douse the burns with clean, cool water. You see this amber traffic light ahead. Which light, or lights, will come on next? Red alone. Red and amber together. Green and amber together. Green alone. Who should obey diamond shaped traffic signs? Tram drivers. Bus drivers. Lorry drivers. Taxi drivers.